Today we're going to be looking at the Vortex Supercharger System in black for the 2011 to 2014 manual GTs. This is a kit that you're going to want to check out if you're looking for a centrifugal supercharger in black that comes as a complete kit, which is going to include an air-to-air -air intercooler and an SCT SF3 programmer. You have to perform very little modification to get this installed on the 11 to 14. There's a few coolant system modifications that you're going to need to make, which we will cover in a little bit. This is a self-lubricating supercharger, and that means that you won't need to tap into the engine oil, which some people do try to avoid. This kit is great for someone looking to boost their Coyote, but be able to drive it like it's stock still. The install is going to be a 3 out of 3 on the difficulty meter, and you can expect to spend a day or two in the garage getting this installed. In the world of superchargers, you have two options. You can go with a root style blower or a centrifugal supercharger. There are two very different styles of forced induction. This kit here includes a centrifugal supercharger, which is a compressor because it compresses the air. A root style blower doesn't do this. Simply speaking, it's an air mover, not a compressor. You're going to get different power curve with the root style versus centrifugal style. A root style tends to make more boost and lower RPMs than centrifugals do, but centrifugals are more efficient with higher boost numbers, and they don't have to battle heat soak like root style blowers do. So just know that before you make your decision on what's right for you and your build, there are pros and cons to each type of setup. Moving on to this kit that we have here, one of the things that I like most about this kit is that it's a complete kit. You order this and you'll have almost everything you need to complete the install. The only things that you're going to be missing are normal outside items, like your spark plugs and your coolant. You will be draining your coolant, so you're going to need replacement. And of course, you will need a new set of spark plugs for the boost. That stuff aside, this kit's going to come with the head unit, which is the V3 SI Black Supercharger, the air-to-air -air intercooler, an SCT programmer so you can get your custom tune started easily, a 98mm MAF housing, high flow replacement fuel injectors, air inlet assembly ducting, air filter, a max flow race bypass valve with a filter, which you will need since this kit runs 7.5 to 8.5 PSI, and of course, all of the hardware that you need to get the install done. This is a dual plate system, so you'll also get all of your pulleys and your bracketry that you're going to need. I will say that depending on your other mods and exactly how far you want to take things, you should consider picking up a booster pump or a fuel pump voltage booster so you know you won't have any fueling problems. Vortex says that this is for manual cars only because it does come with a tune on the SCT device that's for manual cars, not autos. That doesn't mean that this kit won't fit in automatic. It will fit with a few extra modifications to some of the lines. You'll just need to get your own startup file from your tuner. Vortex won't supply one for you. If we look at some of the main components in more detail, we're looking at the V3 SI head unit here. Vortex makes a V1, a V2, and the V3 as well as a few other options like the V3 SI unit, which is the unit that this kit comes with. This is Vortex's most popular supercharger, and a big upside to this head unit is that it has self-contained lubrication system. It comes with an attached oil drain extension, so you don't have to remove the unit itself to service it. This is a quieter head unit. Sometimes you hear louder centrifugal superchargers, but this one's quiet because it has the helical cut gears. It's capable of a max of 26 PSI, and it has a 78% efficiency. 78% efficiency means less heat is made, and so there's more net power and better durability. Looking at the intercooler and the piping, the piping is manual bent 3-inch aluminum piping. Now a side note here, but the piping will not clear the fog lights on the California Special models. The fog lights will need to be removed, or you'll need to pick up some custom piping of your own that'll allow you to keep your fog lights. The intercooler, on the other hand, is a 24 by 13 by 3.5 inch core, and this thing sits really nicely in the bumper. It's going to be effective at keeping your air intake temps down. When it comes to price, you can expect to spend right about $6,500 for this kit. I'll start off by saying that no supercharger kit is going to be cheap. You're going to be paying for forced induction. But it is a complete kit, and you get everything you need for the install. Now, if you don't necessarily need all of the items in this kit, but you need more flexibility with a kit, you can always check out the tuner kit, and that's a little bit less expensive. It will leave some things up to you to grab, though, but some people need that flexibility. Install-wise, this is going to be a 3 out of 3 wrench in the difficulty meter, and you can plan on spending a day or two in the garage getting this installed. I wouldn't say that this is for the first-time wrencher, but more for someone that has some experience. You're going to need your whole toolbox to get this one done, and of course, a lift would certainly make things easier, but you can do the job with a jack and jack stands. You will need to pull your front bumper and your air intake and drain the coolant from the rad. You'll remove your rad hoses, loosen the bolts on the water pump pulley, pull the MAF sensor and the throttle body. After that, you have some miscellaneous prep that will need to be done in order to install the kit. You'll move the wiring harness and begin modifying the cooling system. 
What you're looking at doing here is needing to cut a few things, shorten some lines, and even modify some hose clamps. You'll spend a good amount of time modifying the cooling system here to make room for the blower and the assembly, but if you think about it, you aren't making many permanent modifications here. You can always just buy new hoses, clamps, and a fran shroud and return to the original setup pretty easily. You will need to bend one AC line to make room here, but it moves easily, so just be careful with that. You'll receive a new coolant reservoir as well, so you can assemble and install that. And the included instructions are step by step. So while I am glossing over some of the details here, just know that Vortec will show you how to do all of this. Once that's done, you can swap your spark plugs. After the coolant system modifications, you'll be ready to assemble the brackets and the pulleys. This isn't difficult, but it is a tight area to work in, so you'll have to be patient. The brackets and the pulleys will be mounted while running the belt. The PCV breather system will need to be modified too. And you'll need to relocate the horn assembly and then you'll be ready to install the intercooler system. The front mount will be mounted up and you can move on to installing the piping. With the piping installed, you can move on to your fuel injectors. You can disconnect your fuel lines and very simply swap out your current injectors for your new ones. After that, you're looking at more reassembly your rad hoses, the air inlet system, your front bumper, and anything else that needs reconnecting at this point. You are going to want to give everything a good once over before you reflash the car and go ahead with the initial startup. But as you guys can see already, we have this all installed and ready to go on our own GT. So we're going to head over to the dyno, get tuned, and talk about power numbers. We made a baseline run with our car in the dyno, which gave us numbers of 361 horsepower and 344 foot-pounds of torque at the rear wheels. After we installed our supercharger, we're looking at numbers of 572 horsepower and 494 foot-pounds of torque, which makes for a peak gain of 211 horsepower and 150 foot-pounds of torque at the rear wheels. The peak gains are impressive, but what's even better are the curve gains. You'll notice the curve gains as you're driving, and the curve gains are more of what you're looking for. The curve gains are 188 horsepower and 178 foot-pounds of torque, and I'm not sure how you could be unhappy with that. That's going to wrap things up for the Vortex Supercharger System in black for the manual 2011 to 2014 GT. As always, you can check it out more online right here at AmericaMuscle.com.